I'm Hank Philippi. At Patrick Rogers' home today, his family took his addition to the list without much emotion. Stevie Rogers, Patrick's older sister, had just heard the news. Her mother, she said, was at the task force offices, but she knew what Mrs. Rogers would say. She's going to say the same thing. It's about time, because she, she's been mad about it, because they keep saying that. Um, I think Brown said the other day that he um, wanted added to the task force because he was found in Cobb County and that they was working on the case. That's why they had added him to the task force. The only reason why he, the only thing he had in common with the other kids was his weight and his uh, race and where he come from, you know, like he's from a low income family. Other than that, he said he didn't see no reason for them to add him to the task force. When you heard that, what did you and your mom think? Same thing, boy. Just a bunch of boy. Stevie told me Patrick had been friends with several other of the murdered children and pointed out that Aaron Weish, victim number seven, only lived 300 yards away. Aaron's mother, in the red, did not seem to notice we were there. Patrick Rogers' death has hit his family hard. Stevie said seven-year-old Isaac Rogers, who nicknamed his brother Patman, was the last to see him alive. He is now under psychiatric care, and his nightmares are getting worse. I just woke up, you know, in a sweat, saying he had saw pet man, and we couldn't get him to go back to sleep. You know, I tried to talk to him, tell him, don't worry about it, you know, but it didn't do no good, because he's still kind of shaking. Patrick's two other brothers and four sisters and the whole neighborhood are sharing his fear. They used to stay outside when it'd be dark, you know, sit out there in the yard and play. But they don't do that no more now, because they're scared. Hank Philippi, Action News. My baby don't say nothing. They ask where he at. My, my sister little baby, he...